Hi everyone. In today's micro lecture, we're going to talk about the skill of peripheral cannulation. Now, peripheral cannulation is something that you guys will have a play around with at the clinical workshops. Um, so you'll get lots of practice. Um, but from the paramedics perspective, you need to be thinking about why you would be undertaking the skill in the first place. So think about the different occasions when you would need to put a needle in. Now, by today's standards, you need to be able to justify your actions. And the answer to when you would in introduce a, a cannula into someone's vein is only when there's a direct medical need. So no longer do we do precautionary cannulas on our patients, but instead we place a needle into our patients if there's a direct need. For example, if they're in significant pain, the patients in cardiac arrest and they need fluids or other drugs, um, or any other situation where there's a drug that you can actually give. Historically, it never used to be this, that way. You used to be able to cannulate just in case the patient went unconscious and became unwell. So when it comes to the actual skill, you have to think about the size of the needle. That's one of the most important things. Now, have a look at this here. This cannula, this needle it's here, is a green one. So the, the green color itself no, denotes a certain number, a certain gauge. Now, most cannulas, most ambulance services, We'll have a 14 gauge as the largest one. Then as the number goes, uh, goes up, the size of the cannula goes down. So 16 gauge is a gray, and then the 18 gauge is the green. So we're gonna have a look in a moment at the different colors and the different sizes. Now the, the reason we have different colors and different sizes is all to do with the flow rate, the amount of drugs, the amount of fluid we can administer over a certain period of time. When you actually pierce a patient's vein, and you pierce through the vein using the needle, the blood itself rushes up the catheter and into this flash chamber. And that's one of the ways that you um, actually, that's one of the ways that you recognize that you're in the right place because blood will fill the flash chamber. Now here are the different sizes. Now I notice how I said 14 gauge is usually the largest one. This, this used to be a brown color, but now it's orange, that's fine. And you can give, 240 milliliters per minute. So that really is a very large diameter. Whereas most ambulance services in terms of the smallest needle stop at the blue and they say baby blue 22. So as you can see, the flow rate goes down. Violet's a pretty small one, 26 gauge, 13 milliliters per minute. Remembering what a milliliter looks like we have 20 milliliter syringes that you'll have a play around with at the workshop. Um, so in one minute, it can take a yellow needle one minute to administer um, 20 milliliters of fluid. So let's go through this from the top downwards then. So 240 milliliters really is your patient who is, who's had some kind of trauma and requires a large volume of fluid. Again, these, these two could probably be reserved for patients who have had trauma. Then the, the 18 gauge generally is, is your general care needle. Ask most paramedics, it's very much a personal clinical decision. Most paramedics will give their patient an 18 gauge, but of course it very much depends on the size of the patient and how healthy the veins are. And then these four are reserved for children and elderly. Okay guys, that's the micro lecture on cannulation. I hope you've enjoyed the lecture. My name's Sam Willis and I look forward to speaking to you again shortly. Take care guys.